We've actually combined about five trips in one. It's going to work well. We've got a big group. We're going to go up to the cave. We're going to have to caravan up there, of course. We're going to have to find a ride. There's one real, or there's actually two rare ferns up there. You might look on your t-shirt, that's one we'll see today. And then we'll see a relative of it called Bradley Springwater. And uh, that's right at the cave. I'll have you look at this one. Hey, can everybody see this? Uh, maybe this fern right here? Yeah. This is called the lobe spleenwort. This is the one that's on your t shirt. Uh, it's known as a splenium penitifidum. You got another one over there? What about this one over there? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, you probably already read that the only place in Oklahoma that you're going to find this particular fern, this species, is right here in the park. Now, we've looked all over the place in Oklahoma, and we cannot find it, so it's still a mystery to me, at least, why it just lives here. Uh, Yeah. I was trying to give them to the guy with the basket. Oh, they could take them back. <laughs> Come on, camera. He won't stay still, sorry. Good. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's what I saw. Oh, I want to see. Yeah, I saw one of them. See the brown? Hey guys, when you come by here on the rock, there's a nice example of a frond, pinna, and then the brown spots. What are those called? Sorai. Sorai. You have to lift up the leaves and you'll see the brown sorai. S O R I. That's just the cave right there, you think? Down there. Oh, you just go down. Very pretty. Daddy! Oh. Ron doesn't have anything. No, no, no. He has um, the OU professor. Just down there. Not just, but like half of them. He said it's very, it's very rare and he wants to find it. Huh. What are you guys looking for? Um, Insects. Invertebrates racing, yeah. Yep. Well, that's an ascomycete. That's Leotia. Uh, we need to bring that in. Right. Leotia lubrica. Yeah, lubrica is a good word for it. <laughs> it's the potato. That's a, that's a good one. It is the green. Oh, chanterelles. Yeah, right here? Yeah. Well, that's the cinnabar chanterelle. Huh? And they can be eaten. Yeah. Maxwell. Wait, We've got, I've got a whole... Pay attention because you just... I found one that looked kind of like... And you know what that looks like. Yeah. Mama. I found one that looked kind of like the one we had, you had back at the table, Mama. but it was white. Oh, cool. You know, the one that looked a little bit like a flower. Mm -hmm. you guys find it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That's probably what we said. Ah. Well, let's get some babies. Okay. Is, okay. I, I thought they were different. Okay. Yeah, I was asking. What kind of when you your son brought in? It's a I have no fungus. idea what this is my son brought in. He might not. Which one is this? Put it down on your hands and knees. Are you trying to identify all these mushrooms? Very, very. I've never seen that in a while. <laughs> I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> but, but you have the book. I have the yeah. book. That's the story. The, the new ones put... Look at it. I mean, I brought... Look at them one time just because they were... Yeah, I think I... Well, how many brought in any of them? Before I laid them all out here. So, how many different varieties do you have here today? Between 20 about, so far. Is, is that good? Yeah, that's, that's our, our BioBlitz record. And of course, we're still getting more. Yep. I'm going to have a hard time writing down names or even descriptions. Probably. <laughs> 